Mark, it's wonderful to have you on Floor Talk today. Thanks for joining me. It's great to be here. It's really exciting to be here, ring the bell. It's a great experience. So you just rang the opening bell today, celebrating 30 years of listing on the New York Stock Exchange. What was it like to be up there on that podium? That's amazing. You know, it's amazing to be on this floor, to think about such an incredible history for the New York Stock Exchange and the critical role it plays in all of our companies being successful. And Eastman, you know, it's a 30 year anniversary, but we're a 104 year old company. It's exciting to have all of our operators here to really celebrate in this environment because they're the ones who built the company and, and enable us all to be here. Now, Mark, you mentioned growth. The company has actually grown into a $10 billion leader in sustainable materials. Tell me about that. Eastman's an innovation company. It's in our blood to develop new products, and we've always done that. But a decade ago, we decided that sustainability had to be at the core of what we focused on. And we've brought a huge number of products to market that are safer. Now we've got the world's largest molecular recycling plant uh, to be a leader in the circular economy. So it's, it's at the heart of what we do, and it's also how you stay ahead of the competition. Now your 2024 results are pretty impressive with a 20% earnings growth forecast. What's been driving the success? So we've had a challenging in market situation. A lot of that volume growth is really just a lack of destocking that's allowing us to start recovering to better earnings um, and then grow from here. We're definitely leveraged to lower interest rates. Uh, so cars, homes, appliances, those kind of products are like half our revenue, very high profit. Uh, and we expect that to be a tailwind as rates start coming down. Now you mentioned your circular platform. Tell me, how is that um, helping to reduce waste and fuel your growth? Yeah, so the circular platform is you know, really a novel idea, right? We live in a linear economy where lots of materials are made, they're purchased, they're used, and then they're thrown away. It's ridiculous, over 300 million tons of plastic thrown away every year. Why waste all that natural resource? Why have it get in the environment? Instead, use it as your feedstock instead of oil. So what we can do is take all that plastic waste instead of oil, unzip it back to the building blocks we use to make plastic, purify it, and then remake that plastic. We can do it infinitely. And we can do it at a 90% lower carbon footprint, so it can be almost a zero carbon plastic. So this is the future in creating the circular economy, enabling you know, growth, and it also is a way to reshore jobs, right? The circular economy is regional. You wanna take the waste out of your local environment, as opposed to import things from China. So it allows us to also build up a local economy and bring jobs back to America or in Europe, where we're also gonna build these plants. All right, well, Mark, it's been wonderful to have you on the show. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Absolutely, great to be here. Thank you.